Speak up. Every Friday after school, Mum, Jamal, he's my big brother, and I go to the library to borrow new books for the week. Do you know there are over 2 million new books published every year? I read more books than anyone else in my family. I used to find reading difficult, but the more I do it, the better I get. Jamal says I eat books for breakfast, lunch and dinner. But the thoughts of eating books is gross. Ugh. Jamal says he likes books about history, but we only ever see him reading books about romance. I love all kinds of books. Books that teach me unbelievable facts. Books that take me on adventures. And books about great people who've changed the world. I've just been reading all about Rosa Parks. Do you know Rosa Parks led a famous protest? She'd been told to give up her seat on the bus to a white man just because of the colour of her skin, and she said no. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to enjoy more like this. The library is in a huge building that used to be a theatre. It's a bit old and dusty, but I love it. There are books everywhere. The library is mainly for quiet reading, but sometimes authors and illustrators come to read stories, and then it gets quite noisy. Today, Layla the librarian hands me a book she thinks I love. She always has the best recommendations. She also gives me a party invitation. I love parties! But Layla says it's a goodbye party. There isn't enough money to keep the library open and it has to close down. Oh no! The next day, everybody goes to the library closing party, but it doesn't feel like a party. There is food, but no one's eating. There are books, but no one's reading. Everyone just looks... sad. Nobody wants the library to close. There must be something we can do. On Monday at school, I start speaking up about libraries and how brilliant they are. Do you know there have been libraries for over 5,000 years? Do you know that one overdue library book was returned after 288 years? Do you know there's a library in Portugal with a family of bats that eat the book damaging bugs? By the end of the day, everyone in my class wants to stop the library from closing too. But what do we do? What can we do? We need to speak up. But how? I've got it. We'll have a peaceful protest like Rosa Parks did. We work together to get prepared and spread the word. Our teachers, our parents and Layla the librarian all help. And by the weekend, we're ready to go. Save our library! Lots of people join our peaceful protest outside the library. They're all wearing my favourite outfit. We look amazing. We're so loud, we can probably be heard from the moon. With everyone speaking up together, surely someone will listen. After the peaceful protest, there were good news and bad news. The good news is, everyone is talking about our protest. It's even on TV and the internet. The bad news is, that the day after, the day after, nothing has changed. The library is still closing. What's the point? But one day, the post comes. No one ever sends me letters. And it's not just one or two, there are hundreds. They're from people who saw the peaceful protest, and they're amazing. Dear Rocket, I saw your protest from my bedroom window the other day, and I was super inspired by how you got everyone in the community to care about the library. The library is one of my favourite places in the whole world, and I want you to help save it. Noah. While I'm reading the letters, the doorbell rings. And it's the mayor of our whole town. She explains that the people around the world were inspired by our protest, and lots of them have given money to help save the library. She thanks for me for speaking up and gives me an invitation to a celebration. This sounds like a party I would definitely want to go to. The library celebration is awesome. The mayor tells us there's enough money was raised to refurbish the library and buy lots of new books. There's food and everyone is eating. 
There are books and everybody is reading. Suddenly, we hear a loud beep. What's that? It's Layla, the librarian with a huge bus. The money people raised also helped buy a new travelling library that lives in the bus. Layla said we can all help out bringing books to people everywhere. I'm so proud of you, Rocket, says Mum. Never stop speaking up. I'm proud of me too. And of everyone. I'm so glad we all spoke up together. Do you know, one day you're going to write a book that changes the world and people will read it in the library. Thank you for letting me read to you today. If you enjoyed listening to me and want to read along next time, then you can find the link to this book in the description below. If you'd like to hear me again, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button under this video and visit my channel for more books like this.